Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss a video I upload every Friday. Today we're gonna do a 10 minute makeup challenge. We're gonna try to create this look in 10 minutes. Can we do it? I don't know, check it out. All right you guys, let's get started. So 10 minutes, that's all we have. Say your boyfriend, your husband, whoever it is in your life says you got 10 minutes and that's that's it and then we got to go. And you all know what it's like. They do not want to wait. When they say 10 minutes, they mean 10 minutes, okay? You feel me? You, you know what I'm saying here, girls, right? So we're going to get this done. As you can tell, I'm not including the hair, but I am going to show you after the 10 minutes what I would do with my hair. And yes, I know it looks a little crazy in my in my uh, Coke bottle <laughs> Velcro rollers. But let me tell you, if your hair, let's just say you blue dry it overnight or whatever, you just woke up in the morning and your hair dries beautiful. For me, I have to blow dry it the night before. And then what I do is I just put it in these Velcro rollers while I'm getting ready. So that's what I'm gonna show you. And then after we're done with the 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you what I'll do with my hair. So right now I have nothing but moisturizer on and my Icy Blue Fido C. I have had to cut back on all those products that I've been kind of introducing in my last few videos because my skin is getting affected again and it's not liking some of those products. I don't know which ones and right now I just need to go back to a clean slate like my esthetician said and just use the Fido C Icy Blue and just some uh, like water-based moisturizers. So that's all I'm using. I just went back to, where is it at? My Clinique Moisture Surge. And I have, I know, I just said I'd go I'm going more clean and just using regular products, but <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently I, adding in a few more items that I do know are not affecting my face. And I really love this Drunk Elephant uh, hydration serum. And that's all I've been using lately. On most days when I don't wear makeup, I just do the Fido C serum and that's it. And some moisturizer and like under eye cream and stuff like that. But other than that, I've had to just stay away from all the oils and everything. If my skin is dry looking, it just, is what it is. I'm just gonna have to accept it right now because some of those oils are just really, as you can tell, I have like this red mark going through my nose. I have no idea. My skin is so sensitive and I know a lot of you can feel me on that. I know you understand that just, I don't know, my skin is just so thin and it just doesn't like a lot of products, unfortunately. So I have had to just kind of like say, okay, I gotta step away and I just gotta go back to what I know is gonna work. So right now I have nothing on but just those moisturizers. And then I'm gonna prime up real quick and we're just gonna do a 10 minute, I'm gonna time this. So you're gonna see a timer right there. I'm gonna time this out, 10 minutes, that's all we have. We're just gonna get as much done as we can. And then if we have time to put the eyelashes on in 10 minutes, we'll put it on and if not, Say you just wanna take that extra few minutes and put them on, I'll do it after the timer. Sometimes 10 minutes is all we have. So we're just gonna use a few products. We're gonna use one product that is literally gonna be like our contour blush and highlighter in one palette. So I'm just gonna make it super, super simple for you guys. All right, this is my new Reiki mirror. I love this mirror, this skinny mirror, you guys. Oh my goodness, it is so amazing by Glamcore. Oh, love this mirror. Okay, all right, I'm getting off subject. Let's do it. I am gonna set this timer. I'm gonna show it right there as well. And we have 10 minutes, that's it. All right, here we go. And on your mark, get set, get glam. Let's start off with Benefit Professional. All right, so we're just gonna put this on. We're gonna get nice and primed up. I was just gonna do powder, but because I have this mark right there, which I don't know, something affected my skin recently, I am gonna do foundation. And what I've been liking, I did this in my 10 minute routine the other day, and it was amazing, this hourglass stick. This stick is like O-M-G. I can't talk very well when I'm <laughs> when I'm trying to do this, so. I love how easy this is to blend and how much coverage you get. It is phenomenal. And I like to use this with my Sigma brush. You guys know I'm a huge fan of this brush. And you literally can just swirl this product around your face and it does not cling to anything. And 
Yes, my skin is super dry and I still feel like this is one of the best foundations on the market. It is so clean. I need a more magnifying mirror here. It is so good, you guys. I am so impressed by this. I love it. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to do it so that you guys can see me, but I'm also trying to do it fast. And because I have really bad eyes, if you watch my channel, you know that I should be wearing contacts. <laughs> and then we still haven't found a pair of contacts yet that I really, really love. But look at how fast that blended. Oh my goodness. And the coverage you get is phenomenal. <laughs> I can't talk. It's phenomenal. Okay, all right. I only have 10 minutes, Christy. Stop talking too much. All right, here we go. So look at that. That was super easy. I don't even know how long that took, but I can't look at the timer right now because that's just gonna take more time out. <laughs> so you don't need a whole lot because now I'm just gonna go in with concealer. And I have been loving this Jouer concealer. I use two colors because I'm extra but I really love this concealer. It's nice and hydrating. I told you guys I thought I'd never find another concealer on the market that I love more than Shape Tape. I love this equally. I don't know if I love it more, but I love it equally. But the good part about this one is I have the hydration. And I know for some of you, and I've heard the comments that it's just way too much concealer. Well, don't use that much concealer. I'm extra. I like a lot of concealer and it works for me. You don't have to go this extra mile though. This is all up to you. I would rather have more concealer and less foundation, but that's just my preference. Again, I talk about this over and over and over again. Makeup is preference. Go with what you want. All right, let me just get this beauty blender and we're just gonna blend, blend, blend because we don't have a lot of time. Okay. I don't know if I've ever moved this fast, <laughs> but we all know 10 minutes. When your man says 10 minutes, he means 10 minutes and you do not want them cranky. So just get it done. <laughs> Especially if it's just like going on like a lunch date or just out and about running errands. You're not really going on like a full on date night and grant you, hey, you can do this for a full on date night too. You don't have to be extra like me and do all full glam every time you go out to dinner. This could be a good one. This could be just like going to like a casual night out too, like just going to the movies, you know, or you don't want to wear too much, but you still want coverage. Look at how phenomenal that coverage is. Seriously, that covered up that nose thingamajiggy I have going on. I have no idea what it is, so I'm gonna have to go see my dermatologist because something affected me there and I don't know what. So we're not going to do a full on bake or anything like that because we just don't have time for that. And again, this is just so simple, right? And if you wanted to like put a little extra coverage, you can use that Aqua Assurance. I just talked about that in the other video. We're going to take my Charlotte Tilbury because you guys know it's my holy grail. And I'm just going to go in with, my goodness, with my It Cosmetics uh, fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pounce that in because this dries down really fast. I'm not using like a typical foundation uh, like my Too Faced. Sometimes I like mixing though. If I'm going somewhere nice, I really love the combination of the Too Faced Born this way with that stick hourglass stick foundation. I think that is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous combination. But. I am still stippling it just in case because you never know if it's still wet and you just don't want it to uh, rub around if there is. So I am still stippling it, but this is my quick, 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 quick routine. So just make sure, just feel it, make sure it's nice and dried down. I am gonna take some of the Hourglass powder. I have been loving this mineral powder. It is worth every single dime. This stuff is absolutely phenomenal. And these Milk and Sephora, the uh, Milk Cosmetics and Sephora, where's the cap, did a, like, a collaboration and, <laughs> okay, that was not good. Sorry, you guys. That was a little, that was a little aggressive. Woo, that was very aggressive. 
but I love this powder. It is so good. I actually like doing it more with the Beauty Blender. I don't know why I didn't do that. Because it really kind of pounces that powder in there. But this is a good way to set, bake, bake in a hurry without having to like really like take the time to do it. See how easy that is? Look at that compared to like my baking video. If you haven't checked that out, that's my full on baking video. That's a really good video. And then I'm just gonna take that brush again, just make sure everything is set down. As I mentioned in that video, if you don't want your concealer and foundation to move, you gotta make sure that's set down. That's like major priority right there. And then that's it. We're not doing more than that because let's see how much time we have. I shouldn't be checking right now. Oh my goodness, did I even, oh, three minutes, oh my goodness, okay. So we gotta, we gotta go, we gotta get. So now your man is saying you got three minutes to go and that's all you have. So now I know that looks good. I'm just gonna do a little, we're just gonna take this cheerleader palette and I'm gonna take my Hoola bronzer. I'm literally using this for my blush, my, contour which is going to be just a really quick contour like that see how fast i'm going when i really want to i can go fast <laughs> it's not all the time but sometimes i can do it look at that perfect right i'm going to take my tom ford bronzer brush i'm going to go into the darker hula bronzer which is Caramel. I really love this color, you guys. It's so pretty. It's so pretty as like the bronzer color. And that's it. And now I'm gonna take MAC 224 that I love. I'm gonna take that Hula bronzer, just the original. I'm gonna go into that eye socket and just go in that little crease area and just kind of create some dimension right there. Just like that. And that's it for eyeshadow. We're not doing much more than that. I'm gonna take, if I can find it. I just had these all ready to go. And of course, now I can't find what I'm looking for. My Scott Barnes brush. I'm gonna go back into that Hoola bronzer and just gonna kind of define out that crease a little bit more and take it down the nose and do a slight nose contour. See how I just literally use this one palette to get all that done. And I'm just gonna go in there and just kind of create a soft nose contour. Then I'm gonna go back in with that 224 and just blend out. I think I told you guys this before in another video that I can just live with this 224 brush and I would be perfectly happy. Equivalent is the Morphe 441. All right, so I'm just gonna go back in, make sure I'm nice and bronzed. Then I'm gonna take my blush brush, I'm gonna go into that blush, give myself some color, like that. I like to take that on my eyelids a little, just to kind of brighten that up a little bit. I will take my highlighter brush, I'm gonna go into this cookie color, and we're gonna use that as the highlighter. I'm just gonna go a little bit on the cheekbone and a little bit on the nose. A little bit down the nose, a little bit on the forehead. See how soft that is? I am gonna go in with my MAC Peaches because I just want a little bit more color. I'll just go on the cheekbones, apples of the cheek. I'm kinda going not I'm not being as like precise as I normally would because again, we, we don't have a lot of time. So we kind of just gotta go. And go. Oh, that's it you guys. So that's all you get in 10 minutes. All right, so let's see, let's stop that. That's 10 minutes right there. So we can just have like a nice soft look. You didn't even get to the eyebrows though. So my recommendation is Let's just give ourselves five more. Let's just give ourselves five minutes. Honey, honey, we need five more minutes. We just need five more minutes, that's it. So we're gonna go back in here. I don't know how I did this in 10 minutes. Oh, I know why, because I didn't do brows and I put a hat on. That's why I did it in 10 minutes. Okay, all right, shoot me. Let's do another five minutes, okay? Five more minutes, let's try to get our brows and mascara on. Here we go. Okay, uh, extended play. Okay, this stuff is like my new holy grail. It is amazing. It literally just lifts those lashes up. 
I have been struggling to get my long, beautiful lashes back since I did lash extensions last year and they took off all my lashes. <laughs> I have been struggling to grow them back. I am so bummed that I even ever did lash extensions because let me tell you guys, that just took away. I used to have really long, long, beautiful lashes and I have lost so many lashes because of lash extensions. So I'm kind of bummed about that. But this, this uh, mascara is like, woo! It is my holy grail mascara. I'm gonna tell you guys, it is worth it. I know I always say go for the cheap brands, you know, drugstore is just fine. And trust me, drugstore is great. If you don't wanna spend $20 on a mascara, drugstore is great. But that is phenomenal. I love that mascara. Okay, I need to stop talking because obviously I didn't make my 10 minutes earlier. Okay, I'm just gonna take the Benefit Precisely My Brow and just kind of fill in. I'm not trying to do a defined brow look. I'm just trying to just fill in the gaps because Christy went a little crazy on her eyebrows and they are just struggling to grow back, so. You know, brows and I are just, oh gosh. If I can just get them microbladed to exactly what I want, that would be just phenomenal. How awesome would that be? Because we would have been in we would have been done in 10 minutes had my brows been microbladed. It just scares me to microblade because what if they totally mess up and then I'm just like, whoo, girl, I'm stuck with these tattooed brows and there is nothing I can do about it. it reminds me of that AT&T commercial. Did you guys watch those commercials where it's like the guy talks about the tat at the tattoo parlor and he's like, stay in your lane, brah, stay in your lane like literally my favorite commercial. All of those AT&T commercials that uh, they talk like that or they do the, okay, I shouldn't talk and do brows. So I'm just kind of just not really trying to be like totally precise with this, even though it's called precise in my brow. So I found out why brows are so uneven, like why they're, fraternal twins and not like identical twins. It's because we sleep on certain sides. That's what I just found out from a pro makeup artist. She's phenomenal and she told me, I can tell you sleep on your left. And I was like, why? And she's like, I can tell by your brows. And I was like, oh my gosh, she was totally right. We just sleep and it kind of like makes our face uh, Lopsided, I guess. I don't know. I can't remember what she said. I'll have, to, I'll have to follow up with her on that one. So yeah, I'm just kind of just doing it really simple, you guys. Because I can guarantee you that timer is about to go off again. All right. So I'm going to take that. It's not going to be anything special or amazing. We're just kind of filling in the gaps where we can fill in the gaps. And then I'll take brow gel and fill in the rest. But I did find a cheaper alternative to brows if you guys don't want to spend $25 on a Benefit pencil. I found a really good brow product. I'm going to do it in my affordable video tutorial coming up soon. It's going to be a couple more weeks till I get that one out, but, or yeah, probably a couple more weeks. This is a great, great eyebrow stuff. This is not 20, this is not in the affordable section, but I do literally love this. This is stuff that uh, I know they put use in JLo. It's really amazing. Okay, come on, Christy. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. You can do it. All right, this brow stuff I'm using right now is the affordable one I'm talking about. It is so good. I think it's called Arches and Halo or whatever it's called. Something like that. It's called Arches. I don't know. I'll have to tell you guys in just a second. I don't know. I can't concentrate. I can't concentrate and do brows. Okay. I think we beat it. How much time do we have left? Was I even timing this? Okay. We're done. I didn't time it. OMG. Oh, that was five minutes. Okay. I think that was five minutes. I think, I think, I don't know. I don't know. I might not have been timing that, but 
it wasn't much longer to get the brows and the mascara on. Okay, you can go that extra five minutes if you want. Okay, now we're up to 20 minutes though, so your, your significant other is just really pissed at you now. <laughs> In 10 minutes, you could have got that done. But if you took another 10 minutes, so 20 minutes total, you can probably put some, you can pop some lashes on. But if you have gorgeous lashes and gorgeous eyebrows, you would have been done in 10 minutes. I don't have gorgeous eyelashes and gorgeous eyebrows right now. So my look is gonna take me just a, a snap, a, just a tad bit longer if I'm not wearing a baseball hat. I can throw a baseball hat on and I could have been done in that 10 minutes. Done, out the door, I would have been great. But because I don't wanna wear a hat, I'm gonna show you a quick little hairdo. That was probably more of a 20 minute <laughs> for me total. So let's just pop on some lashes really fast because I'm just in the mood for it. And then I'm gonna show you how long, because I never really do lashes on camera. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm using uh, this brand I really, really, really like. I'll show you guys right here. This is such an affordable, okay, not as affordable as Ardell, but in between Ardell and Lily Lashes, I would say. I love these Amy June lashes. I am obsessed. I actually love them if not more or equally to my Lily Lashes. And to me, there was no better lashes than Lily Lashes. And I like these as much, if not better sometimes. Depending on the day though, I'm gonna be honest with you, it just depends on the day. <laughs> sometimes lashes really work for me and sometimes they just really, they get angry with me, girl. They get angry and boys, woo, child. Oh my gosh, I was watching Rich Lux, the, he's like a gossip YouTube channel. He is hilarious, I love him. He is so funny. And his lash, he was talking about the Jeffree Star, or I don't know, there was some controversy he was talking about. And his poor lash was just, oh, he was talking about Jaclyn Hill. He was talking about Jaclyn Hill and his lash was popping off and I was just dying because, oh, do I know how that is. And then the next day after I watch that, <laughs> I go to Subway and I'm ordering my sandwich and I can feel my lash literally just coming off. Yeah, it was, it was special. I was like, oh my gosh, I totally thought about that guy. Rich, oh, so hilarious. Okay, all right, so that's, this is taking on another five minutes probably, but. This is going that extra mile if you want to. And then what I do is I like to go on top. I like to use tweezers. If you're a beginner lash person, do not use tweezers because you may poke yourself. And if you notice, I let it dry a little bit. You want it to get a little tacky there. And then you're just gonna kinda push in those corners. Like that, like that. And I can do a full lash tutorial. Comment below if you want to see that. My mom and I are like the queen of lashes. My mom wore lashes since she was like 16 years old. She should have invested in Ardell because, and Duo glue, because she is all she wore. She has no, she had no hair. My mom had no hair. So for her, she had to wear lashes and she had to get her eyebrows tattooed before microblading was, you know, in. See how easy that was? And then, and you can go way more natural than this. This is just me because I'm extra and I like, just like, boom, here's my lashes. I don't like El Natural. I'm just not a natural kind of girl. I've accepted it. I've gone through therapy. <laughs> I'm dealing with it and you know what? I've learned to just embrace it, okay? I'm not your natural kind of girl. You're never gonna see me love natural stuff. I like it to just go, hello, here's my lashes, I'm here. Look at that, boom, done. Okay, so that was what, another what, five minutes or less? That didn't take very long. Now grant you, it doesn't always go this smooth. And grant you, not everybody knows how to put lashes on, I get that, and can do it quickly. For us glam girls, we're kind of used to it. Okay, this one's really not wanting to cooperate now. Okay, just kidding. 
It was going smooth. Alrighty. So I kind of like, sometimes I'll take, I know they have those tweezers at the, the bottom part and you, the rubber part and you can kind of just go like this and it doesn't stick to it. But I just, I like using tweezers. For me, it's just easier to, it just grips it better. But I've been wearing lashes for so many years that I, I'm not afraid to do that. So I do like, like for, <laughs> whoa. All right, let's try this again. I do like the L'Oreal Voluminous for the like full look, but I like this Giga, whatever it's called, <laughs> Extended Play Mascara by MAC. I like that to really define them. So I do use both of them. So this is where my drugstore comes in handy. And you guys know I love that Maybelline one that's very equivalent to the MAC one, but it is not exactly the same. I think I used to say it was exactly the same, but Let's be honest, that MAC one is pretty darn amazing. So that's it. Okay, so I truly believe you still need your inner corner highlight and I forgot to do that. So since we went that extra little step, I'm gonna take some of that cookie highlighter in this Cheek Leader palette and I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner like that. This just really brings out your eyes. Again, this is just going that extra mile that you don't have to. It's not a must, but it is nice to do it. And that's it, you guys, that's all. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this bad boy off. Get that out of the way. I am gonna take out my hair. I'm gonna show you guys. So as you can see, I wore those. I'm sorry, I'm looking in the monitor because I don't have a mirror right here, so I just wanna make sure I'm doing everything right. But that was just easy, so that was kind of just kept those little flyaway bangs that were annoying me out of the way while I did my makeup. I'm just gonna take these Coke bottle rollers out. We'll go put those right there. And I am just going to tease this a little bit. I do have my wet brush right here and my comb. And normally in this look, I would just take gloss and throw that on. Where is my gloss? Since I'm gonna be running out the door now because I was a little bit past my 10 minutes, I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs, like kind of like a, a pinky, nudie color, which is perfect. It just kind of gives you some shine, makes it look kind of glossy and pretty and quick and easy. I didn't have to use a lip liner, I didn't have to use a lipstick, it was just nice and easy. You literally can just go out the door like this and just be done and hey, that you'd, you'd have like a one minute hairdo. Or sometimes if I'm like feeling like I just wanna have a little something something. All right, so for this hairdo, I'm just gonna take this section right here and you don't have to do this, but I like a little height because I'm short and I just need something something. All right, so that's it. I'm not gonna do too much back combing. Too much. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take the Afoni Pone because my hair is short and I didn't bring a rubber band. That's awesome. So normally I would have a rubber band, but <laughs> let's just, for filming purposes, we're just gonna do this today. And I would just take this little guy and just wrap it around like a scrunchie, which you don't even really need a rubber band, but it does hold it in tighter if you do a rubber band. A little bit more secure. I love this thing, I swear. I'm gonna link it below. This is my Amazon one. I think I spent like eight bucks or whatever it was on it. It's so inexpensive, it's such a good deal. All right, so there we go. There's your little hairdo. And then I just take these out. If I have time, I'll curl those back and just do like a beach wave type thing there. But if I don't have time, I just leave them out like that. It's not a big deal. And I just kind of poof that part out a little bit there. And literally, this is my like, okay, let's get out of here. I can get this done. And I'm gonna grab my hoops. I didn't put this on because I was doing my makeup. I'm wearing this cute little off the shoulder sweatshirt, my Tom Brady sweatshirt, because I'm a huge Tom Brady fan. I'm gonna take this cookie highlighter, okay, and I'm just gonna put that on my collarbone. And again, this is very extra, you don't need to do this, but I'm extra. Okay, just like that, let's put a little bit more highlighter. Woo, you can never have enough highlighter. All right, this cookie highlighter is like, whoo, girl, this is like really good highlighter. All right, that's it, you guys. So, 
with the lashes and the eyebrows is a little bit more than 10 minutes. But I am not, I'm like probably, I don't know, 20% of the people out there that doesn't have like great eyebrows and great eyelashes right now. So I can guarantee you most of you probably have pretty great eyebrows and all you have to do is literally take like eyebrow uh, gel and just put that on and you would have been done in 10 minutes in mascara. You would have been perfectly fine. Because I don't have that right now, I had to go a little bit longer than 10 minutes, but you saw my 10 minute routine. I mean, 10 minutes will just put the foundation on, the blush, the bronzer, I even contoured a little. So, and I, a little bit of eyeshadow. So that in 10 minutes, you're done, you're out the door. Like I said, if I literally had 10 minutes and they were like, get out the door in 10 minutes, I would just throw a hat on and forget about my eyebrows and forget about my mascara or do my mascara in the car, <laughs> but in the gloss, cause that stuff you can kind of do quickly. But because I like to do a little bit more, okay, just a little bit more. Say he said, okay, you have like five more minutes, I'm gonna go do something in the car and then you have like five more minutes to just pop some lashes on real quick, if that's you that's not you, then don't worry about it. But this is quick, simple. You guys saw how easy that hairdo was. I mean, you could have worn it down because you had your rollers in, so it was perfect. It would have been nice and just, you know, like that sexy, messy look. But then this is another way to just kind of get it out of your way. Say it's a beautiful day outside and you just want to kind of put it up a little and get it out of your way. That took me less than, what, five minutes? I, I was gonna put a timer right there, so we'll see when I'm editing how long it took, but not bad, right? Kind of simple. So that's all I wanted to do today, you guys. I wanted to make it so, so easy. And the only products I used were the Hourglass Foundation Stick, uh, my moisturizers, obviously, and then for setting powder, I used the Hourglass, so two Hourglass products that I absolutely am in love with right now. These are my favorite products right now. And then of course my Charlotte Tilbury that I talk about in every single video. This, oh, is everything. So these two right here, whoo, perfect. And then this stick, I mean, come on, you guys saw how easy that was. That was like three minutes of just blending so, so seamlessly. And that Sigma brush is everything. I have the hour, glass brush and I think this is like 50 bucks and it's really good don't get me wrong but I go to the Sigma one all the time so $25 I think at the most this brush is phenomenal I'll use it with all of my foundations and then as far as eyebrows go I just used my precisely my brow benefit pencil I use 3.5 that is my color that is my go-to color and then I used this uh, Sienna uh, eyebrow gel. I love this. This is what uh, Scott Barnes uses on JLo and it's like a blondie color so it's perfect for people like me with highlights or like really really strong blonde hair. This is and you have darker hair underneath so your eyebrows are darker. This is a great way of not coloring your brows but giving them kind of that lighter effect especially if your hair is really blonde like mine. So I really love this Sienna. I'll link it on the bottom as I always do. And then lashes, I use the Amy June Lashes and Eve, and I'll link that on the bottom as well. My House of Lash Glue, if you wanna go that extra, which you don't have to, like I said. And then this palette right here is pretty much, was my whole look. So this Cheer Benefit Cheek Leader Bronze Squad. I mean, you get so many colors in there, you guys. I mean, as you can tell, I use that cookie highlighter. And I have the separate Hoola bronzer and I have the separate cookie highlighter if I don't feel like bringing this monster with me, but I just use this, especially this caramel bronzer. Like I love using that with my Tom Ford brush. It's just, it's nice to have it all in one. And I mean, I could use the blush, I can use the highlighter, that could be a cheek topper. And then you have a little brush right here too. So I love having everything in one and I pretty much created a whole look out of one palette besides my foundation. So that's not bad. I did go the extra step and I did use my Peaches MAC blush. You guys know this is my ride and dive blush. Just think it looks beautiful on anyone. I don't care what age you are. If you wanna go one extra step, which would take you like one more minute, you can use these what I like, especially for mature skin ladies, because as we get older, everything just starts to look 
more tired, right? We wanna brighten things up. That's why inner corner highlights are really, really important. You can just use the highlighter I just used. But this is another trick to really like, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, like your pinky right there and you're just gonna go into the waterline and you're gonna just put, this is like a nude color, but you can do white, you can do silver, always looks pretty too. But that just opens up the eyes. It just brightens everything up and it's a really good trick for mature skin. I think it's important to, to, it's an important step, especially if you're going somewhere nice. If you're just going out and about, it doesn't really matter and you don't really care about that, but it is an extra, what, one second to do that. And it really does make a difference. My eyes are really red right now. I've been traveling, so my eyes are a little itchy and red, but when my eyes are nice and white, which I should have used my Lumify, love Lumify for that, really whitens your eyes. That was it, you guys. That's all the products I use. That was pretty simple, right? I thought this would be a really great video for those of you that just are into makeup, but not like you don't have a lot of time and you don't want to use a lot of products. And I used kind of a combination of affordable and Okay, not all affordable, but for the most part, some of the affordable stuff. But I really do believe if you want good makeup, sometimes you do have to invest in products. And I did mention earlier, I couldn't really talk about it while I was in the process of it, but I love Benefit Precisely My Brow. That is my go-to brow pencil. But this brow pencil, I have been loving. And I like the two of them together. This is called Arches and Halos, so I was right on the name. And this one is, I'll put the color below. I think it's like medium or something like that. But it's a great, great brush. It's not as precise to me as the Precisely My Brow, so I still like using that one. But to fill in, this is a phenomenal product. And it's like 10 bucks. It is so inexpensive. I have been loving this stuff. I keep it with me alongside my Benefit Precisely My Brow. So I love both of them, but if you just wanted one, this is a great one. If it's if like you're on a budget or something like that, you don't want to spend a lot of money because I think this is like 25 and this is like 10 or 12 around there. It's, it's just so affordable. They carry it at Target. Unfortunately, not all Targets carry it in store and none of my Targets around here have them. So I'm kind of bummed. I just kind of like had to like go, okay, I hope this color is gonna work. And it did, it was a perfect color. Like seriously, like the most perfect color for me right now, especially with the blonde hair where I don't want it too dark and I don't want it too ashy or too light. But that's it, you guys. Oh my goodness, that was so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you wanna see more like this, like more quick, quick ways of doing makeup, if you wanna go maybe like a little extra step, maybe like a 20 minute one too, if you have like a little extra time, which I kind of technically did 20 minutes <laughs> when you just really like put it all together. But that was pretty simple, right? To say the least. <laughs> but if you want to see more like this, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Set your notification bell for future videos and I'll see you in the next. Thanks guys. Bye. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rockin' if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby.